Welcome to Tales from the Caveside, where Lillian and Chris, we bought a cave house and finca on the outskirts of a small Spanish town. Follow us as we learn to renovate and create a home that we will be proud of. Another day, another wall. The skimp was, skip was emptied yesterday. As you can see, we are good to go. And today we're going to tackle this wall. We're leaving that tube in for plumbing. We don't want it filling with rubbish and then not being able to trace it back afterwards. That hopefully we can take up and still see where the tube is. You can see here the fantastic way that the tiles have been put up with cement. You can see the depth. Up to my knuckle on my finger of cement. Completely hollow. In fact, there was a little lizard living in there yesterday, and he's obviously got a little run in there, probably maize. Okay, maize. So yesterday, I had all the fun removing the tiles. So today, the boss wants to have a go. Let's see if it come off as easy as mine did. <laughs> So, a few seconds later, and we've got this far. And, yeah, it would seem I didn't have all the fun yesterday. <laughs> wow, they're very, very well, well placed. It would seem that it's only because the time the tiles are butted up together. Whoa, steady. Um, they held themselves in. Are you ready to try and remove some of these cow pats? See how easy they are to come off or how difficult? Yeah, that was, that was interestingly easy. Oh, oh, oh one sticky. Uh, that one wasn't. This could be a new game. Instead of Jenga, which one's going to fall off? Yeah. Yeah, tuck on. Push, push on the cement cowpats and see which one falls. It's like a lottery. Uh, no cheating. You're not supposed to be ramming them. Picking them off, you're supposed to see which ones that come off on their own. See if we can make a pattern. They seem to stick a bit better than brick. Oh, that's all cement. Oh, I don't know. It just amazes me. Oh, the... <laughs> the thing is, they're about three centimetres thick as well. So... There you go. Amazing. <laughs> Come on, try one more. 
No. No. Ah, that's it, the cow pat's win. Eventually, we'll be uh, painting this door because uh, it's just galvanised metal. I want to make it look nice. <laughs> and God knows how long that handprint's been there. But uh, now, now thought, just for a laugh, um, we both enjoy playing a, a computer game called Skyrim. And uh, the Thieves Guild, which is one of the storylines in, in Skyrim, has a handprint as their symbol. Now, I apologise, it's not the, the Thieves Assassin's Guild. Assassin's Guild. Yes, it's the Assassin's <laughs> Guild. Uh, so just like that, we've removed all of those cow pats, as Chris called them. Suits us to remove them because so many of them were really loose. So we couldn't leave them there for posterity and potentially render over or tile over. Um, I'd rather do it once and do it properly than have, find that we had a problem because some of them, well, you saw how loose they were. This way, we've got a nice flat area, tile or render, whatever we choose to do in the future. Yeah, so this cement here, as you can see, is for the water that originally came into here. Water pipe's there and there, but it runs along and goes into the, the toilet that's through there. This drainage, the pipe is actually not connected as such, it's just shoved into an elbow. And we've left it covered up, we haven't cut it down or anything just so we can see where it is. And then just put a bit of sponge in to lock it off. Well, we've been taking down a wall. And somebody broke my mouth. It was me, I'm sorry. Yes, you <laughs> best breaker. What are we going to do now? We need that. And this is going to be our salubrious guest toilet. Very welcoming, isn't it? Not. And here we go again. More tiles coming off. And as you can see, they're incredibly difficult to remove. Guest toilet is looking bigger already, having taken off those tiles. However... Guest the... toilet is more like to a, a lazy person's toilet who doesn't want to go all the way over there. Right. So yesterday we took down a wall that was here. <clears throat> we took the door off this toilet room, took the tiles off the walls. It's a bit more bearable now. The toilet pan isn't attached to the floor and yeah, we just won't talk about that. It, it's another project for the future. Don't forget the However, Oh yeah. <laughs> and the wall was originally, you can see it's attached there. It went in over there, and that's a piece of banister rail that we've got going up the stairs. All the same stuff, not that we've taken it down and put it there. You know what I mean. They used a scrap piece of metal, which is actually what we've got as banisters. However, point of this short video is dilemma time. When that wall was removed and I took out the foundation bricks, they'd been laid on an original patio. It's about depth of my finger down on that side, a bit shorter on this side. That's where that patio is. Now, if I get, try to get down to floor level here, this patio here, this marble one, actually slopes up to that corner. There's drainage under here, and it was obviously built in such a way so that the water would come down, go through these special tiles, there's more further along and then there's drainage and then out that way. This floor comes down this way and down that way. Is there a possibility that that same said original patio is in the floor over there? If it is, it's about 60 centimetres down from the height it's at at the moment. And the only way to find out is by digging an archaeological pit and seeing what we've got. So the plan is remove some floor tiles at the top over there, dig, if we reach a metre and we haven't reached, reached said patio, it's not there. Well, down in the archaeology pit, we have found doo -doo -doo, natural rock. Remove the floor tiles, the marble floor tiles. That, they come up quite, quite easily. Then there's a layer of cement, 
and then it's rocks and soil and we kept going and the pink that you can see is about 25 centimeters down a natural rock so there's no way it's anywhere near the 60 centimeter or so down over there so archaeology pit done and dusted Thanks for watching the latest episode of Tales from the Caveside. If you enjoy what we're doing, please like and subscribe. We would really appreciate it.